want to introduce you to the redneck hunting cabin. It's sitting down by the pole building here on the farm. At some point I'm going to move it up onto one of these ridges and uh, when I do I'll show you that whole process of, of how you move it. It's not so simple obviously you can't just you know throw it on the back of your truck. You've got to have a trailer and you've got to be able to get it onto the trailer. But uh, once I get it located in, in a new spot uh, I'll show you how I set it up inside and uh, it'll be a really fun place to get away like for overnights but also I'm going to try to put it in a location on the farm that I can use it as sort of a redneck hotel. You know, so in the evenings after hunting, I can climb down from my tree stand rather than coming all the way back down through, you know, the whole farm back to the living quarters. I could just pop into here and spend the evening or, you know, the night here and then, you know, right back into the tree again uh, the next morning. So I've got to figure out exactly where to put it in order to have it be a, a fun place to go for a getaway, but also a spot that Will really work during the hunting season but let's take the tour uh, it's a uh, seven feet by eight feet constructed from fiberglass fully insulated uh, the windows are double pane the ceiling is insulated uh, closed cell foam throughout uh, the floor i think the floor is insulated or at least it has a, a liner you know that, that keeps it from uh, feeling cold and uh as you can see it sitting here, it's on a deck, and the deck does not come with the blind. You'd have to make that yourself. So you could make whatever arrangement you wanted to, any size you wanted to, but what you'd be buying from Redneck is just the blind. So let's take a quick look. It's got a standard camper door latch. You know, nice solid door, closes tight. Uh, the, the beauty of something like this versus building it yourself. There's no bugs, uh, no mice, nothing's gonna get in here. It's solid fiberglass, completely sealed. So you don't have to worry, you know, for who knows how long this thing should hold up without any issues of anything getting into it. And that's huge. I mean, if I built this thing and put it up there, I know I'd cut some corners somewhere and I'd end up with a blind full of spiders and mice and who knows what, or not blind, but a cabin. Uh, full of all kinds of stuff and that's no good. So this is super tight, perfectly sealed. Step on in. Okay, now we're inside and uh, you can see that it's, it's got the foam insulation and there's a built-in fan in the back of the blind that runs off AC power. So if you're running this thing off, <clears throat> excuse me, off, uh, no, that runs off DC, I'm sorry, 12 volt DC. So if you're running it off AC, and uh, you know, we're gonna kick the generator on and show you how that works in just a minute, but uh, um, you, you would convert the AC to DC to run this fan. That's pretty handy because now you've got two windows, one on each side that lets air flow in. So if you're pulling air into the, into the cabin, you can push it out through the windows and get some nice ventilation. Um, and you could also pull, if you wanted to, flip the fan around and pull air out. So you could you know, suck air out of, this, out of the cabin and in through the windows. Um, like I mentioned, it's fully uh, wired for 110 volt. There's a receptacle on the back of the cabin that you can plug your generator into and you can plug whatever you want to into these outlets. I've got one of them plugged into the AC to DC converter so we can run the fan and the other one could go to you know anything you wanted. I mean we're, we're demonstrating it here with um, just like a hot pad so maybe you're set up for camping in here and, and you need some way to make breakfast. Um, it could be 
whatever a small space heater if you're you know out during the cold temperatures you can hook a little television set up i guess if you wanted to and and uh, as long as you got some place to stream a signal um, you could be up in the middle of nowhere watching tv in, in your redneck hunting cabin there's enough room in here for two cots and the idea would be to fold them up or have them be you know something that you can flip out of the way or enough space underneath them that you can put all your stuff in totes and slide them underneath the cots so you've got some room you know in here during the day if you want to use it during the day you could probably have one cot and a little table uh, for example or you know maybe again you can always fold stuff up and set it out of the way obviously you can use sleeping bags uh, seven feet wide eight feet long so you could go either direction um, you know with how you configure it inside these are only available from uh, redneck blind dealers so uh, you're not going to be able to order these online from redneckblinds.com you can order a lot of their products online but you can't order the cabins um, you have to get them from a dealer but they've got a dealer locator uh, on their website this thing is 55 54 100 bucks something like that somewhere in that range and uh, that comes as you see it, you know, fully wired, ready to go. Um, you just have to build some kind of a deck or, you know, some kind of an arrangement to set it on. So let's step back outside and take another look. So if you're looking for some kind of a cabin, um, a little hunting cabin or a family getaway, I mean, some people are even putting these in their backyards for like a garden shed. You know, it's it's durable. It's going to last, you know, decades. I don't, I don't know how long fiberglass lasts. It may be, it might be a generation. But uh, you're not going to have to worry about maintaining this thing like you would if it was made out of any other material. Well, hopefully uh, you've got some interest in this product. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to get it out and uh, start using it. But uh, check it out. Go to redneckblinds.com. Hit the dealer locator. And then uh, check out the cabin at the nearest redneck dealer.